Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my face. What the? So last week, as some of you know, I went on a mini Sephora haul and I bought some new foundation because I just about used all my Fenty and that is crazy to me because I can't even remember the last time I used a full foundation and like actually liked it. It's so hard to find something like that. I ended up buying the YSL All Hours Foundation. It has a sunscreen in it as well as the SPF 20. So I decided I would do a wear test for you guys and see how well it covers up my acne and see if it's just everything and more. When I got this foundation, I basically went all off reviews on Sephora.com and there was a lot of good reviews, like more than most foundations. So I was like, okay, this is the one. This is the one. If I'm going to get one, it's going to be good. So, um, and I believe this is pretty expensive as well. Yeah, so it was $58. Not cheap. If you're shopping on Sephora, you can find your match based off of your color ID. When they gave me a color ID, they save it to your account. And so when you're shopping online, it will tell you which one is your color match. Like, see right here. It says match. E right there. And so that's the one I got. The color I got is B30 Almond. And it says up to 24 hour wear, which I will not be wearing it for. Full coverage, oil free, flawless matte. Girl. I'm getting excited just talking about it. No need to touch up even through non-stop activity. Well, I'm going to be going in the snow in a little bit. And it says it's shine free and it helps reduce the appearance of pores. Like this sounds like it was made for me. But the packaging is so sleek. Like, hello. So I'm going to go and do go ahead and do my um regular skincare stuff that I do before my foundation, which is I'm going to start with this Dermalogica primer. So let's just do a swipe right here. Next up, I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Lasting Primer. This is the shit. Then I'm going to be taking a little bit of these Farsali Glitter Unicorn Drops, which I've only used once and um, I was in a rush, so I didn't really get to see the magic of them. I'm going to be taking this cover of X Spray. This is the Illuminating Setting Spray. And I just feel like this prepares the face for the foundation. And I actually have noticed that it makes a difference. So I use it religiously. Great, so I'm just going to shake this baby up. So I'm just going to spritz some of this on my face. Oh my gosh, it does seem a little thicker. Like not Kat Von D. Oh, and it has a scent. It smells like, but it's like a very fresh scent. Wow. I've never smelled a foundation smell like this. It smells like, like if you go to the spa and you have cucumber water. That's what it smells like, cucumber. It smells really refreshing. I feel like that's a really nice coverage. Wow, it looks really nice. So let's see what happens when it dries down. I think it's obviously a little more yellow, but I'm yellow and red undertone, so I mean, they did pretty good with the color match. All right, so this is what the color's looking like. I do like that it's a little tanner, honestly, because I plan on being tan soon, so I think that's perfect. And the coverage is really nice. Like, it doesn't look cakey. It looks super, super duper nice. Wow. I'm, like, impressed. Alright, so I'm going to just continue putting the rest of my skincare on. And then I'll be right back. Alright, you guys. This is the foundation with my contour highlight and translucent powder on. So far it hasn't oxidized that I can tell. It still has a yellow undertone and it still looks the same to me. So that's really good. I have noticed a little tiny bit of creasing already but in my smile line I always crease right here. So that's pretty normal. It looks 
pretty damn good. It just looks very fresh and like it reminds me of the kiwi smell because it looks really like kiwi fresh. Like I said, I'm going out into the snow. I'm going to go take some pictures. I'm going to try not to mess it up and try not to get snow on it. We'll see. We'll see how it holds up. So I will see you guys later tonight. Hey guys, I'm back. I have had this foundation on for eight hours now. I was going to leave it on longer, but I have just like a splitting headache. Like every day I've been waking up with a migraine and I think um, it's because I had a margarita. I think I'm not over a cold, so every time I have any alcohol, even if it's like one drink, I get the worst migraine and sometimes worst hangover the next day. But um, I want to get this makeup off. But not because it wasn't good, it was amazing. Honestly, um, this foundation still looks so beautiful. It has like a glow about it, which on my skin I usually think looks disgusting. It definitely looks luminous. And it didn't get cakey in my dry patches, which is like, what? Like, it is a little oily in the T-zone, but honestly, I'm like not even mad about that. Because like I said, it, it does look dewy. It really only broke up in the spots where I put concealer, which I believe it's only, it's from the concealer. Because I can tell I only put concealer under my eyes and a little on my chin. But on the cheeks and the forehead... It just looks so nice still. And I was like touching my face a bit over here and I ate, I went to dinner. So um, I would say it held up pretty well. I probably would definitely touch up, you know, the oily areas, maybe some translucent powder. Yeah, I would have to say this is going to be, I think, a new top favorite of mine because I just feel so pretty. Like I feel so glowy and not cakey and like I just feel like... I don't know, my skin has never looked this good with foundation. Can I say that? Alright you guys, I'm gonna head out of here. Take these lashes off. Ah! Best feeling of the day is taking these motherfuckers off. For real. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, per the usual. And I will see you guys next time. I am so happy with this. So far. Girl. I feel so naked without lashes on. Don't look at me.